In this video, I'm going to show you how to get the Production SSL Certificate P12 to set up push notifications for AppPressor 3. So the first thing that you want to do is go to developer.apple.com slash account and log into your Apple account and go to Certificates, Identifiers, and Profiles. Next, we're going to go click on App IDs. And if you don't already have an app ID for your app, you're going to need to create one. So click the little plus button up here. If you do already have one, you can click on the existing app ID and go to edit. I'll get to that in just a minute. So give it a name. And you're going to use explicit app ID. Now here you're going to put a reverse domain identifier, which just means something like this, com.demoapp.app. Um, it's not super important, but you just can't use uh, asterisks or special characters or anything like that. Now, when you go down to uh, app services, click on push notifications. You can ignore everything else. And then you should see a screen like this that says confirm. Go ahead and click on register says registration complete. We're going to click done and now we're going to go back and we're going to find the app ID that we just created and we are going to click edit. If you had already created an app ID you can just go ahead and skip to this step. Go ahead and click on your app ID and click edit. Now we're going to ignore all this stuff. Just scroll down to push notifications. So what we're going to do is create our production SSL certificate here. If you click on create certificate, we're going to go through the certificate creation process, which you should be familiar with if you already created a P12. Go ahead and you, you can use your old CSR file if you've already created one. Um, I recommend only creating one CSR file and just using it over and over. If you have not created one, follow the instructions here, open up keychain access, go to certificate assistant and generate your certificate. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and choose your certificate signing request from your app and go to continue. And then it's going to give you your certificate. So go ahead and click on download. Make sure that you are keeping this in a folder where you know what it is. And I would recommend giving it a name so that you know that it is a, uh, a production certificate and you know what app it belongs to. Because once you create, start creating a bunch of apps, it can get confusing. So we're gonna go ahead and find this on our computer, the one that we just downloaded. So that was this one. I went and put my app name on it and I put that it was a production SSL certificate because you don't wanna get it confused with your uh, distribution certificate which is also a CER file. So now that we've done this we're going to double click it and you're going to go ahead and find this in your certificates. You want to make sure certificates is selected over here in keychain access and find your certificate here. If you're having trouble um, it should have the name of your app here, your bundle identifier. So what we're going to do next is right click this and click on export. Now in the P12 creation, we expanded the item and we're not gonna do that here. So go ahead and just click on export and I'm gonna go give it a name that I can remember and I'm going to go ahead and save that. Now that's saved to our computer and you have the P12 that you are going to be able to upload on AppPressor 3 in the iOS, it either says iOS P12 or Production SSL Certificate P12. You're going to go ahead and upload that here. Get the P12 file we just uploaded and we're going to enter the password that we, that we just created. And for the provisioning profile, I'm going to go over that in the next video.